When I started videoing this um, series about infinity, I began pondering how I could put Zeno's paradox to rest, how to explain it. And uh, now, if you're not familiar with Zeno's paradox, um, you'll want to watch the first video of this series in order to come up to speed for this video. So um, recall, uh, those of you that know about Zeno's paradox, recall that it's a, about a hypothetical foot race between um, Achilles, uh, the famous warrior, and a turtle. And the turtle has a head start, and Zeno comes up with this very clever argument to show that Achilles will never beat the turtle in the foot race. Even though he runs faster, it's impossible for him to pass the turtle. Okay? Uh, <laughs> so this, uh, this bedeviled you know, philosophers for, for many centuries, actually. And um, I believe the, the mathematicians are quite comfortable now with, with explaining that away. And uh, my challenge is to uh, come up with a way of explaining this that will persuade the, uh, the most stubborn and clever philosopher. So I don't know if I'm going to succeed at that because they are a clever bunch of people. But anyway, here's my attempt. So now, in, in my example, I'm going to use uh, some very nice, easy numbers to work with. So I, I happen to have a very fast turtle. This turtle runs half as fast as Achilles. That's a fast turtle. All right, so we'll give the turtle a head start in this foot race. Here's the turtle. And I'm not going to attempt to draw a picture of a turtle. And here's Achilles over here. And the foot race begins. They're going in this direction. So in the first stage of the race, it's going to take Let's say it takes Achilles one half of a minute to reach the point where the turtle started. Now the turtle runs half as fast as Achilles, so he goes about half the distance ahead. And it takes him a half a minute, of course, to do that. So after one half a minute, the turtle is ahead of Achilles. All right, now, when Achilles reaches this stage of the race, where the turtle was, and that's only half the original distance, that has taken one-fourth of a minute. And of course the turtle moves ahead by half that distance. The turtle's ahead. And let's do one more stage. Achilles moves ahead to where the turtle was at the end of the second stage. It takes one-eighth of a minute, and the turtle has moved ahead again by one-eighth of a minute. And so, the, um, of course, Zeno argued that at each stage of this race, whenever Achilles runs up to where the turtle was, the turtle is still ahead of Achilles. And so, um, this can go on, on in infinitum, ad nauseum, and Achilles will never catch up to the turtle. Okay, uh, very funny. But um, this, this, you know, people argued about this for, for centuries. How do you... How do you dispense with this ridiculous argument? <laughs> okay, that Achilles is not going to catch the turtle. All right, well, I think the, the, the problem was is that uh, Zeno argued that it takes infinitely many stages, and you cannot observe infinitely many steps. You know, mechanically, you can't do infinitely many stages of this. And, and perhaps people thought, in, in terms of adding distance, you can't add up infinitely many numbers. Well, actually, you can, but... Um, but before they knew it, it would have been reasonable to assume that you can't add infinitely many numbers because you don't have an infinite amount of time in which to do so. Okay, these are some of the old classic arguments, I'm sure. All right, now, I think uh, the way to dispense with Zeno's paradox is to not think about distance, but think about time. And so here is, here is my attempt to persuade the philosophers, the stubborn ones that are holdouts on this. All right, let's think about the time it takes. In the first stage, um, they've run one half of a minute. In the second stage of the race, they've run one fourth of a minute. In the third stage, they've run one eighth. And suppose they keep that up, and after n number of stages, generic number n, after n number of stages, that's how much time has elapsed. Now, now, why does that work? Well, the first stage is 1 over 2 to the first power. 
The second stage, 1 over 2 to the second power is 1 over 2 squared, 1 fourth. Third stage, 2 to the third power is 8, 1 over 8. And so you can continue this up to 1 over 2 to the nth for the nth stage. Now it's a fairly mundane math to, to demonstrate that this finite sum, we can add a finite number of numbers, adds up to um, 2 to the n minus 1 divided by 2 to the n. And then a little more algebra, we show that this is equal to 1 minus 1 over 2 to the n. Okay, so this is the amount of time. For example, after three stages, 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 eighth is 7 eighths. Plug 3 in here, it's 1 minus 1 over 2 to the third power, 1 minus 1 eighth is 7 eighths. That's how that works. So we have a way of, of calculating how much time has elapsed, depending upon um, how many stages of this race have been run, have been observed. So we can observe, theoretically, presumably we can observe a finite number of stages, and that's how much time it takes. And, and I agree that the turtle is still ahead of Achilles at this point. But look what happens. No matter how large n gets, and now we're getting to the essence of infinity and infinitesimal as mathematicians view it. No matter how large n gets, you know, when n grows infinitely large, now we're talking infinity, as we go toward an infinite number of stages of this trip, um, it doesn't matter how, how large n is, this sum of times is still less than one minute. In other words, in one minute or more, we have accounted for an unlimited number of steps or stages of this, of this race. <laughs> okay, and so it doesn't matter how big it is, as large as you want it to make it, it still takes less than a minute. Uh, or actually, it's still less than a minute when the turtle is ahead of Achilles. Well, time marches on, and um, Tempus fugit is a Latin expression, time flies. Um, and so after a minute, we have completed all these observations, all these infinitely many observations, and Achilles has now passed the turtle. So anyway, I don't know if that's going to convince, um, you know, any, any philosopher holdouts up there, but this, this, this argument gets to the heart of, um, of how mathematicians approach the idea of infinity and infinitesimal. That um, this series, we call it, this sum is called a series, it converges to one, which says that um, as, as n gets infinitely large, this thing gets infinitesimally close to one. It can get as close as you want to by choosing n number of stages large enough. <laughs> okay, and so I, I, I want to expand on that in, in one or two more videos in this series because um, I want to get to the how we how we look at infinity and infinitesimal in, in terms of calculus, and uh, so we'll we'll follow that up soon. But uh, it's a sort of how the mathematicians approach those ideas. So anyway, I'm convinced. I hope you are also convinced that uh, poor Achilles finally will pass that turtle.